Hey everybody, Alex here again. Welcome back to another video on this channel. And today we will explore use Nuxt app and see if it's a blessing or maybe even a security risk. Let's have a look. All right, before we get into the scenarios and examples, let's just check what use Nuxt app actually is. Because it's a feature that's available since Nuxt version 3.6. So for quite a bit now, but I'm sure most of you don't know about it yet. Though it's available on every single Nuxt website out there running on 3.6 and higher. Okay, let's have a look at the Nuxt.com website. Um, as I said before, it works with any Nuxt application on v3.6 and higher. Of course, this one is on the latest, which is 3.8 right now. And if you open a console here and then just write window.useNuxtApp, that's the whole feature. So in here we get access to, it seems to be, yeah, the Nuxt instance. So we can easily now play around, let's say, let's take the router and push and open the blog maybe, and that works all fine. That's especially useful when you have a production or staging environment and don't have the dev tools available, but still want to debug, want to maybe send some requests, initialize some things. And yeah, once again, that's um, a pretty nifty tool. Actually, we had something like that in Nuxt 2 already. It was called window.dollarnuxt back then, and it basically served the same purpose to expose the Nuxt instance. Also very much necessary for transitions back then. And yeah, people raise their concerns saying, ah, you know, it's too easy to access the Nuxt instance in the console, that, uh, that might be a problem, or even go further and saying, hey, can my site be hacked? Is this a security issue? There's this interesting GitHub uh, issue back then saying, how can I protect the dollar Nux in the console? I want to avoid users using it. Back then there was an option called global name to change the name to a secret one. But eventually that all came down to security through obscurity, which is not a valid security concept, as I mentioned back then. The point is, this also applies to use Nuxt app here. So even if we wouldn't have use Nuxt app, there will always be ways to find out what, where the Nuxt instance is, what elements in the DOM are attached to view, and somehow get access to it. Mainly because if we switch from the console to the debugger here, we see that obviously all the JavaScript is human readable, of course, minified sometimes, but still you can access it. So it makes some things easier, of course, but if someone really wants to dig down to a website, then they can simply do it. They can simply use all the JavaScript there because it's human readable and you can just add some breakpoints, change some values, and that works. That's also why front-end validation and front-end protection only is not enough. If you have some data coming from your API, then you should protect these properly and not just let the request go through for even anonymous users if only login users should do that. Let's summarize. Window.useNuxtApp is a nice debugging feature, especially for staging and production websites. And it's not a security risk at all, mainly because it doesn't change the power possible adversaries have when they want to, I don't know, search through your website. So the power is the same, it just makes things a little bit easier, but everybody who is seriously into digging through these sites already has some scripts set up to find these instances anyway. So the good thing is, use it for debugging, play a bit around, especially in your own sites, and you're good to go. That's it for now. If you have any questions, you know, drop them as usual in the comments and check out the other videos. See you for next one and happy hacking.